Bien aimé, que la paix et la grâce de Dieu soit avec vous tous. Beloved, may God's peace and grace be with you all. Let us prepare our hearts to worship our oh God. He who loves us and to whom we owe life. And we should be thanking him in this moment. And worship in spirit and in truth. Let us let our heart go toward our God in worship this morning. Il se souvient que nous sommes poussières. L'homme, ses jours sont comme l'air. Il fleurit comme la fleur des champs. Lorsque vent passe sur elle, elle n'est plus. Et le lieu qu'elle occupait ne la reconnaît plus. Mais la bonté de l'Éternel ne durera jamais pour ceux qui le craignent. Il s'amuse et pour les enfants de leurs enfants. Pour ceux qui gardent son alliance, et se souvient de ses commandements afin de les accomplir. L'Éternel a établi son trône dans les cieux et son règne domine sur toutes choses. Bénissez l'Éternel, vous ces anges qui êtes puissants en force et qui exécutez ses autres en obéissant à la voix de sa parole. Bénissez l'Éternel, vous toutes ces armées qui êtes ses serviteurs et qui faites sa volonté. Bénissez l'Éternel pour toutes ses œuvres dans tous les lieux de sa nomination. Mon âme, bénis l'Éternel. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. 
He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children. For those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precept, the Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bid, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your faithfulness. Ta bonté envers nous, your goodness toward us. Merci pour tes provisions, Père. Thank you for your provisions, Father. Tes gratuités sans nombre, your grace, or that is uh, that cannot be counted. Et matin à nous venir en présence, Père. This morning we come to your presence. Avec nos bouquets de remerciements, with our thanksgiving, que nous venons déposer à tes pieds, that we want to bring to your feet, et pour que nous dis pas de même jamais pour vraiment. And to say that there is really no one else like you. Merci pour ce fait pour nous. Thank you for what you've done for us. Et merci de nous uh, pour le privilège que nous avons en ce moment. Thank you for this privilege that you've given us in this moment. Pour nous adorer comme papa. To be able to worship you as our father. Uh, recevoir à uh, chanouyo. Receive our songs. Pas parce que nous bon et nous dit. Not because we are good or worthy. Mais nous demandons grâce à lui. But we ask for his grace. Seulement en nom et dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Only in the name of Jesus Christ. Only in the name of Jesus Christ. Si même pas vous capriez. He who lives. We say this yet forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Uh, la parole du Seigneur ce matin est trouvée dans Ephésiens chapitre 6, 
The word of God this morning is found in Ephesians chapter 6. Et un verset un acte que nous allons lire pour vous voir bien exclusivement. Verses 1 to 4 that we will read for you. Enfants, obéissez à vos parents selon le Seigneur, car cela est juste. Honore ton père et ta mère. C'est le premier commandement avec une promesse afin que tu sois heureux et que tu vives longtemps sur la terre. Et vous, Père, n'héritez pas vos enfants, mais élevez-les en les corrigeant et en les instruisant selon le Seigneur. Que mon Dieu bénisse par les prédications. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. This is the word of God. Amen. Not to come in the presence of a stranger. But so that we can come to our Father's feet. He who loves us. And he who's invited us to come to us. So that we can find help in our need. We thank you for this invitation that you've given to us. Et pour désirer, pour désirer que nous ayons une relation et un moment d'intimité, ça nous a fait. And for your desire to have, for us to have these moments of intimacy with you. Père, nous réjouis pour ça. Father, we rejoice. Mais nous ne prenons pas ça comme acquis non plus. But we don't take it lightly either. Parce que nous connaissons que l'écouter ou 
uh, la vie sans petit tout pour que ça soit possible. We know that it costs you the life of your son. Nous te remercions pour l'accès que nous gagnons. We thank you, Lord, for what you've given to us. À travers le sang de ton fils. Through your son, Jesus Christ. Merci, Père, de ce que vous t'en dépouillez. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers. Et pour répondre à nos prières. And for the, the, our prayers that you've answered. Selon ta sagesse et ta volonté. According to your wisdom and your will. Et maintenant, en Père, nous voulons ouvrir que nous avons même. And this morning, Lord, we to offer our hearts to you. Tout d'abord, pour faire hommage à nous. Not only, oh Lord, to glorify your name, pour nous faire hommage à nous-mêmes, but Lord, to glorify you, parce que vous êtes bon papa, because you are a good father. Vous connaissez comment vous prenez soin de petit tout. You know how to take care of your children. Au contraire, même au cours où vous êtes tout mieux que que vous demandez. God, you give your children more than they even ask for. Parce que vous êtes plus intelligent que vous-même. Because you are smarter than us. Parce que c'est bon Dieu qui est omniscient. Because you are the omniscient God. Ou c'est bon Dieu qui a toute sagesse. You are the God with all the wisdom. Merci. Thank you. De ce que nous gagnons dans la vie. For the fact that we have you in our lives. Non, moi ne parle pas de péché ni au pas. We ask Lord forgiveness for our sins. Parce que nous connaissons, nous tombons dans le chemin en pile fois. Because we know we've fallen on the road many times. Mais merci de ce que vous rappelez nous la parole ce matin. But thank you, Lord, for reminding us in your word this morning. Que compassion, that, endurance. that your compassion has endurance. Où c'est bon de ça qu'on donne? You are this God who forgives. Pécheurs à qui le mentir? This the sinner who who repents. Et maintenant nous voulons nous sentir pécheurs dans cœur. This morning we would like to confess that we feel sin in our hearts. Et nous demandons pardon. And we ask for forgiveness. Et non seulement nous nous Il y a assurance que lorsque nous nous confessons nos péchés, nous pardonnons nous. Lord, not only do we have the assurance that when we confess our sins, you forgive us. Mais nous connaissons tout par que ou sympathiser à à nos faiblesses. But we also know, Lord, that you sympathize with our weaknesses. Ou connaissons par que combat nous yo et ou bien souci pour nous mêmes. You know our battles, Lord, and you care for us. Et c'est ça que nous rapportons avec assurance devant toi nous. And this is why we can bring them with assurance pour nous demander pour secourir nous. To ask Lord that you would help us. Père Martin, lève l'église ou devant nous. Father, this morning we bring your church before you. Nous avons le temps pour prier pour que vous bénissez tes enfants, quel que soit votre vie. We ask Lord that you would please bless your children wherever they may. Encourager le Père, to encourage them, Father, ah, que vous serviez de bouclier, so that you can, Lord, be at the corner. Yes, ah, Père, dans le moment ça, nous prions pour nos frères et sœurs. Father, in this moment, we pray for our brothers and sisters. Yeah, nous pas ouais. There are many who have not seen. Mais nous connaissons Dieu sur nous. But we know that you look at us. Et nous prenons le temps pour aller visiter pour nous dans le moment ça. Ask Lord in this moment that you would please visit. Et si quelqu'un a passé des moments difficiles que nous pas au courant. And if there are among them Lord, Lord who are going through a difficult times that we do not know about. Na pas de vous dire ce que vous même serez capable faire pour nous même. We would ask Lord that you as you alone can intervene. Na pas de vous visiter pour nous et famille ceux qui affligés. We ask Lord that you would visit those families who are currently afflicted. À cause de ou la mort ou d'autres catastrophes qui viennent à famille yo. I don't know because of death or other catastrophe that's happened in their families, Lord. Nous pouvons nous visiter famille par raison pour nous l'amour ça. We Lord ask that you would please visit the family. Le le Winkler visiter yo. The Winkler family, Lord. Et tout l'autre monde qui est lié avec yo. And all of the other their, their loved ones, Lord. Nous pouvons nous prier et déchirer les poumons. We ask that you please help us to share. Sir Jack, for no sir. Sir Jack, T J, for no T J. And all the other families who are afflicted in this moment. All of the other families who are currently afflicted in this moment. We don't have enough words, Lord. But we don't have enough words, Lord. But we know that your paternal hands, Lord, can heal them. We know that your paternal hands, Lord, can heal them. We ask, Lord, that you please visit 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 them. We ask, Lord, that we also thank you for the great things that you've done on us. Merci pour ces sources que tu nous as accueillis. Thank you for Sister Sosa who's now back home. Ah, n'a pas de temps pour va continuer ce courir. We ask Lord that you would continue to watch over. Fortifier. To strengthen her. Ah, oui, mais des forces sont en lui-même. 
Tu peux dire, je suis en Et tout le monde peut que tu es touché par le nous merci pour le même. And all of the other ones, Lord, who've been touched in one way or another, Lord, we thank you for them. Oh, ben merci pour ceux qui sont malades. Thank you for those who are sick. Mais nous venons là qui n'ont plus en souffrir là. We are now in your presence worshiping. Bien c'est la carrière du capitaine depuis la capable de rêver. There are those who are currently listening to us and worshiping you at home. Nous capable de dire grand cause que notre Dieu est grand. We can say truly that our God is bon et il est fidèle. That he is good and faithful. Merci pour grâce à vous. Thank you for this grace. Et pour ça nous quand pas tant nous pas. And for those who are still waiting for you. Permettre que vous pas décourager. Let them not be discouraged. Ni perdre espoir. Or lose hope. Parce que notre Dieu règne encore. Because our God et la monde pour les pour nous-mêmes ne pas diminuer et le Lord our love not diminish et la part de temps pour prier et we ask Lord grâce à mes foi et pour nous you affirm your faith oh restez avec nous Père stay with us Father ah uh, béni et l'autre monde uh, qui a souffri à cause de l'injustice quelconque bless those Lord who are suffering either because of injustice or otherwise n'a pas de temps pour prier pendant qu'il a cherché justice dans ce monde We ask Lord as they seek justice in this world. Let them also seek the justice that comes from above. Because this is the true justice. And we ask Father. Let our assurance stay not stay in the things of this world. But that every day we seek what comes from above. Père, alors de la nous allons nous prier nous matins. Go beyond what we ask in our prayers. Au delà de ça nous espérons matins. Beyond what we hope this morning. Parce que malgré tout grâce à lui. Because we ask all of His grace. Avec pas nos péchés. With the forgiveness of our sins. Dans le nom et dans l'Église de notre Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le même qui a prié. He who lives. Au ciel des cieux. Forever and ever. Amen. Once again, may God's peace and grace be with you. Ah, pour y aller vite de où à écouter la parole du Seigneur avec nous en ce moment. I would like to invite you to listen to God's word. Ah, pour ce faire, nous allons lire dans le Jean chapitre 4. We will read in John chapter 4. Ah, les versets 46 B à 53 inclusivement. Second half of verse 46 to verse 53. Ah, ben. Il y avait à Capernaum un officier du roi dont le fils était malade. Et après que Jésus était venu de Judée en Galilée, il alla vers lui et le cria de descendre et de guérir son fils qui était près de mourir. Jésus lui dit Si vous ne voyez des miracles et des prodiges, vous ne croyez point. L'officier du roi lui dit Seigneur, descends avant que mon enfant meure. Va, lui dit Jésus, ton fils vit. Et ce homme a cru à la parole que Jésus lui avait dite, et il s'en alla. Comme déjà il descendait, ce serviteur venant à sa rencontre lui apportait à cette nouvelle. Ton enfant vit. Il leur demanda. À quelle heure il s'est trouvé mieux Et lui dit hier, yeah, à la septième heure, la fièvre l'a quitté. Le père reconnut que c'était à cette heure-là que Jésus lui avait dit :« Ton fils vit. » Et il 
cru, lui et toute sa maison. Amen. There was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told them, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. When he was still on his way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This is the word of God. Amen. Père, bénis ta parole. Father, bless your word. Pour l'édification de tes enfants. So that your children can be edified. Et pour ta gloire. And for your glory. Au nom du Seigneur Jésus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Aujourd'hui, c'est le jour que nous voulons la fête des pères. Today is the day that we refer to as our Father's Day. Et nous voulons parler où que des marches du papa qui était pour sauver son enfant. And we will talk to you about steps that the father had taken to save his child. We say that this fête a commencé ainsi. And we say that the, this party started this way. Yes. It commenced in 1910. So, spoken in Washington. It was Washington. So they talk about this party that started sometime in 1910, somewhere in Washington. Yeah, the holiday, Father's Day. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. On Father's Day. Yeah, yeah Father's Day. Yes. Uh, we did in 1909. So they say in 1909, to get you down to my dad. There was a woman named Sonoras, my dad. Uh, smart dad. Uh, qui était l'église d'après des ouvriers dans le service d'adoration. She was in church participating in worship service. Et d'après nos messages, c'était le jour de la fête des mères. And she was listening to her sermon. It was on Mother's Day. Et ce message là, il était adressé aux mères. And this sermon was addressed to mothers. Et pendant qu'elle attendait le message là, and as she was listening to the sermon, l'esprit était dirigé vers son père. Her uh, spirit was guided toward her father. Ah, uh, et parce que maman était mourue assez jeune. Because her mom died when she was very young. Et papa était un ancien vétéran de la guerre civile américaine. And her father was a veteran of the Civil War. So the mother raised her with father. So the father raised her with five other um, kids alone. So mother had pensée que non seulement il était bon pour honorer la maman, mais de tel père nous méritait pour honorer aussi. So this woman was um, thought that it was good to honor mothers, but fathers also needed to be honored. And from then on, she made it her mission so that fathers could also be honored. And a year later, in 1910, they had the first celebration of Father's Day. But there's something I would like you to understand. In essence, the honor that's given to men and fathers, it is God that gave it from the beginning of humanity. Men are honored by God who has created them. Men uh, admit nous pas toujours reconnaître hein, que vraiment que la vie de homme comme père de son vie qui complexe. We also must admit that we don't always know that the life of men, uh, a father, is a very complex life. C'est ça fait que nous avons plusieurs façons de définir un papa. That's why there are many ways in which we define a father. Yeah, il y a un petit garçon qui demande qui c'est le papa et there is a boy that who was asked what is a father. Ah, les gens vont ça. And he answered this way. The father is a man who carries pictures in his wallet where his money used to be. Mon papa, c'est un homme qui porte des photos dans le bourse pour te mettre l'argent. Et là, on ne pas pour capable pour ou quand vous parlez là, yo to. Sometimes, when you're a father, you might run out of money. Mais pour la peine, 
Les mots l'appellent, but it is worth it. Et yeah, j'ai demandé à l'autre petit monde, mais comment définir le fait de père? Et il a demandé à un autre enfant, comment tu définis le fait de père? Oui, mais c'est so, une so question qui est très facile. Et il a dit que c'est une très facile question. C'est comme le like Mother's Day. Tu sais, c'est un peu fait de maman. Mais la seule différence est que nous devons dépenser un peu de temps. Nous devons dépenser un peu de temps, même genre. Mais laissez-moi vous dire, chers amis. Well, let me tell you, friends. La beauté d'être votre père. The beauty of being a father. Ce bagage extraordinaire quand quand papa joue au rôle bien. It is something that is extraordinary when a father plays uh, his role the right way. Ah, uh, donc je dis hein. So today, au lieu que nous parlions de bonnes listes uh, de faillites paternelles, instead of giving you a list of failures uh, of fathers et des points de corruption. Or uh, corruption, uh, or point of correction. We're going to go through this passage that we just read. Instead, we'll go through this passage that we just, we just read. And mention a few points positive. And I will mention a few positive uh, pointers uh, que nous de la vie de père, that we find in the life of a father. Qui voulait sauver la vie de son fils qui était très malade. Who wanted to save the life of his son was very sick. It is true that they don't, the Bible doesn't tell us a whole lot about the life of his father. Sinon, il dit que c'était un officier uh, 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 royal. All it tells us is that he was a royal official. Et il y a même qui pensait que c'était même peut-être de la famille royale. And some people even think that he was from the royal family. Donc, uh, nous allons pas le propre de l'autre aspect de la vie. So we're not going to focus a whole lot on the other aspects of his life. Mais nous allons regarder quelques, quelques points positifs. But we will look at a few positive points. Uh, quelques, ou quelques actes positifs qu'il déposait à travers des marchés. Or a few positive actions that he, he had taken throughout his life. All right. So, regardez commencement passage que nous soutenons pour vous même, non? If you look at the beginning of this passage that we just read, le premier bagage que nous pouvons mentionner, c'est que c'était un père actif. The first thing that we can mention is that he was an active father. Dans la vie de son enfant. He was active in the life of his child. Il était un père démissionnaire. He was not, uh, he was not passive. That's right. Uh, en d'autres termes, il était un papa qui engageait dans la vie et, et in other words, he was a father who was very active in the life of his children. His father also had servants who were serving in his home. He could have sent one of his servants toward Jesus. But he decided to go himself. Uh, donc être actif dans la vie de nos enfants. So being active in the life of your children. So nécessité pour nous les pères. It is a necessity for us fathers. Quelqu'un ou maman a pas là ou non? Whether or not there's a mother in the house, you papa a un rôle à jouer. A father has a distinct role to play. Papa rôle là c'est pas faire des marches pour pour pour, pour la guérison de de de, de petite. Sometimes the role takes on the form of, of taking steps for the healing of a child. Parfois c'est juste que les yeux ouverts. Sometimes it consists of simply keeping your eyes open. Juste le fait qu'on capable demander des informations à vos enfants. Simply the, the simple act of asking information about your children. Comment l'école la vie? Comment abouli dans l'école là? How was school? How you doing in school? Et si que vous êtes capable de pouvoir ça aider ou avec des côtés où besoin aide ou support ou? And if you are able to do so to help them, um, support them in their work. Parfois tu sais juste demander information sur qui qui type de monde monde ça pour qu'ils en mouillent. Sometimes it consists of asking what type of friends do you have. Donc il y a plusieurs façons que le papa est capable d'être dans la vie petite fille. There are many ways in which a father can be active in the lives of his children. Donc l'essentiel c'est que nous 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 des pères concernés. So the essential thing to remember is that we should be fathers who are very concerned. Et ce père là qui est une petite fille malade. And this father who had a sick child, il n'est pas content de vous demander où vous allez. He did not ask for someone else to go. Mais même il engage les vieilles. But he engaged himself. He himself was. C'est pour mieux que nous apprenons de la vie de ce père là. This is the first thing that we learn about the life of this father. Mais bon, deuxièmement, second, uh, notre maman était active. 
not only was he active en quête de guérison pour son fils um, to find healing for his son mais deuxièmement il était dirigé vers la bonne source but secondly he went to the right source that's right so très bonne qualité pour papa so this this was a good quality in this father uh, pour que les capables connait qui bon pour aller lui même lorsque lui a besoin to know exactly where to go when he was in need. Et côté pour lui diriger petitly, vers quoi diriger petitly, and toward what or whom to direct his child. Ça c'est le papa doit avoir un bon sens de direction à leurs enfants. A father needs to give good sense, a good sense of direction to his children. Vous connaissez des papas, vous connaissez des problèmes. You know there are fathers who go through issues. You invite the petit qui a dû venir boire avec eux, venir venir voir s'il y a pas ces problèmes là, non boire ou non autre bagaille. They invite other people to come drink with them to see if they can get over the problems or the issues. Et bagaille ça yo au lieu que y a mieux les situations papa et petit ça yo. And these things when you do them instead of making things better, you cause des problèmes. They make things worse. Mais papa ça a été dirigé vers la bonne source. But this father went to the right source. Parce qu'il est allé vers Jésus. Because he went toward Jesus. Nous sommes dans le Psaume 121, ça nous apprend, n'est-ce pas? We remember in Psalm 121 what we learned. Nous apprend que le secours nous vient de l'Éternel. We learn that help comes from God. Qui fait ciel avec terre? He creates the heaven and the earth. Le père ça a été allé vers la bonne source. So this father went to the right source. Il est allé vers Jésus. He went toward Jesus. Probablement il connaît les magiciens de de sa localité. He probably knew the the source. Yes, sorcery of this time. Mais il pas allé vers eux. But he did not go toward them. Il est allé vers Jésus. He went instead toward Jesus. Côté où papa dirige petitly, where a father directs his child. Capable de conséquences capitales. Can have um big consequences. Yes. Et y a papa qui veut être conséquent. Et un père qui veut rester bon. Good. Yeah. So, lui doit toujours aimer chercher la direction de Dieu. He must always seek um, the direction toward God of God. Et quand il raison pour ça, n'est-ce pas? And there are many reasons for this. Mais si tout le monde a abandonné. Even if everyone else abandoned you, your papa will be in the Lord. A father needs to stay at the Lord. Même la Bible te dit ça. In the same way Peter had said, "A qui irions-nous? To whom shall we go? Tu as les paroles de la vie éternelle. You have the word of life. C'est dans Jean 6, 6, 68. According to John 6, verse 68. Mais nous lisons dans l'église à tout temps. But we also read in church all the time. Non, Acte 4, verset 12. In Acts 4, verse 12. Par les salut non que l'autre pour nous encore. That salvation is found in knowing. Donc papa nous a une mission. So our father has a mission. Pour nous diriger nos enfants vers Jésus. To lead our children toward Jesus. Parce que Jésus qui déclare lui-même. Because Jesus himself declares. Non, Jean 10, verset 9. In John 10, verse 9. Je suis la porte. I am the gate. Si quelqu'un entre par moi. Whoever enters through me, he will be saved. Donc c'est la direction que nous devons prendre avec nos enfants, la direction de Jésus. This is the direction that we should take with our children, the direction toward Jesus. Nous pouvons la vie par nous. In our own lives. Et dans l'instruction que nous donnons aux petits noms. The instruction that we give to our children. Mais troisièmement, on a notre bagage à faire. And thirdly, there is also another thing that is done. Non seulement il était, il était, il était pour l'initiative, il était actif. Not only was he active and took the initiative. Nous sommes allés vers la bonne source. Not only did he go toward the right source. Ah, let's go allés vers Jésus. When he went to Jesus. Mais troisièmement, but thirdly, il n'est pas trop fier pour que le supplie Jésus. He wasn't too proud to ask Jesus. Très important. This is very important. Dans verset 47, Kounia. In verse 47. Et lorsque lui vient rencontrer avec Jésus, and when he got, when he met Jesus. Ah, il suppliait Jésus pour Jésus venir avec lui. He begged Jesus for Jesus to come with him. Oh, il allait vers Jésus et priait pour qu'il descende avec lui. He went like to Jesus and he begged Jesus to come with him. Ah, ce bagage extraordinaire. This is something that is extraordinary. C'est toi mon question. This man, c'était pas un homme du commun. It was, he was not a common man. C'est un officier que des lois. He was a royal official. Et 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 comme nous voyons que dans pas ça les autres liens que c'était un homme riche aussi. And as we see in this passage, he was also a wealthy man. Il avait statue. He has he had statue. Il avait richesse. He had wealth. Parce qu'il était des serviteurs de la cali. Because he had servants in his home. Mon bon homme ça le lui c'est parce qu'il venait devant Jésus. But you know that this same man when he came to Jesus. Il va commander Jésus non? 
He did not command Jesus. Il était prié et il était supplié Jésus. He prayed and begged Jesus. Ah, Pierre, ça nous apprend que this far, from this father we learn que il était prêt à laisser son pied de stade devant le Seigneur. He was ready to leave all of his royal position in front of Jesus' feet. Pour sauver la vie de son enfant. To save the life of his child. Les humilier devant Jésus. Les humilier lui devant Jésus. He brought himself down before Mais, Jesus. Mais mes amis, bon, il y a une différence entre être dignifié et être hautain. My friends, there is a, a difference. There is a difference between being dignified and being um, pr proud. Yes. Uh, Père ça, this father, lui dit humilié devant Jésus, n'est-ce pas? He put himself down before Jesus. Et you papa doit faire attention. And a father needs to be very careful. Pour que sa fierté mal placée. So that his pride cannot be misplaced. Pas empêcher d'obtenir la bénédiction divine. So that his pride would not keep him from receiving uh, the from receiving the blessings of God. Et c'est pour être ça la parole de Dieu lui 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 exhorte nous. And this is why the word of God uh, tells us. Pour que nous humilions nous devant mon Dieu. So that we tells us to humble ourselves before. Avec que mon Dieu nous a élevé nous. So that God can elevate us. D'après que nous comprenons ça. I want you to understand this. Père ça qui prie à faire ça. This father was ready to do this. Et nous devons apprendre de ça. And we need to learn from. Au côté de papa qu'on ou sa maman beaucoup de gens disent papa n'a pas les qui qu'on abandonne les petits yo. You know there are fathers who abandon their children. Parce qu'ils font bagarre qui mal. For something um, bad that you know, the children may have done. Bagala le tibre. It could have been an ugly thing that the child, the child has done. Mais il y a eu ça abandonné parce qu'il a pensé qui ça mon va dire. But some of them abandon their children simply because of what other people might say. Dieu ça c'est fierté ou blessé. So in essence, their pride has been shaken or hurt. Nous capables pour comprendre ça. We can understand this. Mais tu can être fier de te dire que tu my friend. But don't let your pride take over, my friends. Well, même les Jésus utilisait ces concepts à la dire là à Monsieur et à la foule. And you see that even when Jesus uses this uh, instance here to address the crowd, la va parler de tu là, la parler de vous, de pluriel là, la là là. Les cas si nous, how a miracle est possible, nous pas quoi? So even though he was addressing this man, he uses the plural, says, "If you, as in you all, do not see signs, you will not believe." Pourquoi ça pas pas avant? Well, you know what this father did? Les était humilié jusqu'à présent. He remained humbled. Les va protester non? He did not protest. Les réitérer ça de moi. He reiterated his uh, request. Les dit Seigneur, he said Lord, tell me do you know how I'm going to be mourir? Please come down before my child dies. Oh, les était un blanc et focalisé. He remained humbled and focused. Pourquoi n'était mon qui était capable de venir de aller? You know there are um, many people who would have just turned away. Parce que ouais, Jésus a voué pour cela le royaume là. Because they see that Jesus is talking about something else. Mais peut-être ça il était il était humble et focalisé. But this father remained humble and focused. Uh, attention à qui est-il? Be careful with your pride. Ah, il parlait nous de maman qui était une petite qui était grave malade. Then he talked to us about a mother who had a child who was very sick. Et maman allait dans la ville pour acheter des médicaments. And uh, the mother went into town to buy her medicine. Mais maman ça de 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 famille qui très connue dans la ville là. But this mother was from a family that was very well known in town. Et il arrivait que ce jour là, pendant qu'elle venait dans la ville là, sans aller chiré. And it just so happened that as this mother got to town, her um, slippers got ripped somehow. La maman dit est-ce qu'elle doit tourner? And she was asking herself, should I go back? Ou est-ce qu'elle doit aller quand même à les médicaments? Or should I keep going to find the medicine? Les poches là, la mettre dans la poche, le marché des kinés. So she took the slippers, uh, put them in her pockets, and she walked barefoot à la pharmacie to go to the pharmacy. Au risque de être humilié, risking um, being humiliated. Mais elle était gardée, elle va être fière de lui. Get in the way, but she did not let her pride get in the way. But that's the fear thing. Yes, because that's the important part of this: save the life of her child. Because what was important to her was to save the life of her child. Friends, I'm bad. You're finding the bad guys to solve your own situation. No, my brothers and sisters, I don't want you to do just anything to save yourself from the situation. But parfois, we check if the fear thing is not mal, not mal placed. 
But you need to check sometimes to see if your pride is not in the way. Fourthly, we see something in this passage that this father did. Il se confie à la parole de Dieu. He obeyed God's word. Les paroles de Dieu mot. He took God at His word. Yeah. Now, verse 50, we see what Jesus told them. In verse 50, we see what Jesus told them. Jesus dit, "Ton fils vit." Jesus replied, "Your son will live." Allez, puis tu dois vivre. Go, your son will live. Comment bien ça a passé là? I need you to understand what just happened. C'est pas ça que demande le pays. That was not the request. The request was for Jesus to go back with him. But Jesus changed it. Jesus Jesus told them to go. And he did not protest. He did as Jesus had asked him to do. No compare. Us as fathers, nous avons cette responsabilité. We have this responsibility pour que nous acceptions la volonté de Dieu, so that we accept the will of God. Et rendre ça évident pour nos enfants, and make it so also for our children, pour que nous connaissions nous l'une qui n'a pas protesté à bon Dieu, so that we also know that none of us can protest against the si will of God. Si Dieu dit fais à droite, fais à droite. If God tells you to go right, go right. Fais à gauche, fais à gauche. He tells you to go left, go left. Et parfois tout que c'est pas bon Dieu qui va venir parler avec vous. Sometimes it is not God Himself who's going to come and speak. C'est pas only what the Lord will say. Yeah. Oh, man, it is His word that you will hear speak and spoken to you. À travers la terre, sa volonté est révélée. Through which His will is revealed. Pour que nous va faire vous belle. So that we do not rebel. And that's why uh, Jesus was telling uh, the leaders so that the word would stay in their hearts before all the people. So that they could obey his will. So that they could obey his will. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, we learn that what God has said. In Joshua um, 1, verse 8, we learn that what God has said. That this book of the law will be seen when you point your mouth. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate day and night. Meditate on it day and night. Afin que nous capable fidèlement, so that you may be careful. Sur le sac qui écrit la donnée, to do everything written. C'est alors qu'on a des succès dans notre prise ou yo. That's how you will be prosperous and successful. C'est alors que tu réussiras. That's how you will. That's how. That's how you will uh, find success. Yes. Suive. Ça bon Dieu m'a dit. Follow what God has asked you. Cinquièmement, fifth, go back and dive into the book one and four. Something else I would like for you to understand. Non seulement il dit mais tout ça que nous sommes tous les seuls bagues et tout mais la doute. Not only um, did he do everything that we just mentioned without going back to it. Go back and dive. There is a fifth thing that he did. Il va écrire à bon Dieu. He gave credit to God. Ah, so God did this. Second year, second year. If you look at verses fifty-one and fifty-two, when the officials returned home, when the officials returned home, when this official returned home, ah, Saint Pierre, you couldn't even tell him. His servants came and met with him. Ah, you got the good news. They gave him the good news. Because you are living and we are alive. Your son is alive. They say that the last thing they are going to do is to call the jury. What they what they need to tell him here is that your son is not dying anymore. He's healed. Is that second day? In verse fifty-two, Papa took the time. The father took the time. Who can you mandate you back to ask the very son to ask something? Qu'il a pris mon dieu, qu'il a dégueulé. What time was he healed? Près d'une veille une heure. They told him around one p.m. Et puis, la réalité que c'est même les agents qui disent la lettre puis c'est loin puis tu dois vivre là. And that's when he realized this was the exact time that Jesus had told him to go. Au lieu qu'elle courit pour que la lettre soit célébrée, instead of running to go celebrate, les vérifier n'a qu'il est sacré fait. He verified exactly the time that his son was killed. You know why? So that he could say this truly came from God. So that he could give credit to God. That's what we need to do. As parents. Compare. As fathers. So that we could glorify God for the things that He's done for us. There are great things that God has done for us. We need to be silent. 
we've kept silence about we need to give glory to God for the things that he's done for us oh god yeah God has done great things. The people of Israel were saying, God has done great things. They responded, God has done great things. We are rejoicing. We learned that there was a, a preacher from the province. And so a man had come who thought that he had uh, he's a smart yeah that he thought he was, he was a very smart man very spirited man and, and he came and trying to confront this preacher and he was telling and many, he was telling this preacher many times, he's saying that God, God has done this or that. Do you not realize that some of these things may be coincidences? And he thought that this preacher was about to debate him. And all the preacher responded to him was what we we're just about to tell you. This preacher said, all I know is this. When I pray, these coincidences that you speak of, they happen. But when I stop praying, they don't happen. He gave credit to God in his way. And us too, parents, we should always be doing this. To give credit to God. Finally, Something I would like for you to note uh, toward the end of this passage. Finalement, So lastly, he grew in his faith and knowledge of the Lord. We would like for you to understand that our walk with God is not some sort of product. So process it is a process. He's still working on me. There is there's a song that I like very much that says this. He's still working. God is still molding us, me and you. Yes. There are certain things in our characters, me and you, he's still working on them. Or in the same way, a preacher once said that any little thing that makes the plant not grow the way it should, he was taking them out in the same way God is taking these out. He's still working on us, my friend. And this father, we saw this in his life too. This father had started out with a motivation to find healing for his son. He needed a miracle. But finally, you know uh, what happened? He realized that Jesus doesn't. It's not just a miracle, God. But he is God himself. And that we should also trust in God. So that we can have salvation. I would like for you to understand. The greatest gift that you can leave for your children as a father is to instruct them to never be satisfied with the things of this world. But to remind them that there's a soul that needs to be saved. When you give the child everything that to make him comfortable, this is not it. There's more. Remind them that their soul also la Bible, needs to be saved. La dit, because the Bible tells us to what good it is for a man to gain the whole world. Si 
If he loses his soul, son fils était guéri. His son was healed. Mais c'est pas la fin de l'histoire. But this was not the end of the story. Non, c'est pas la fin de l'histoire. No, it was not the end of the story. La Bible nous dit, il crut. The Bible tells us that he believed. Lui et toute sa maison. Him and his whole household. C'est pas la fin de l'histoire. This is not the end of the story when the son was healed. They then put their faith in Jesus Christ for uh, the salvation of their soul. I would like you to understand this, my friends. This day, there was many healings in this home. The son was healed physically. But the servants also and everyone else in this house, they put their faith, their trust in the Lord. And spiritually, spiritually, they were all healed. There were many healings in this house. So us as parents, we teach our children, especially the fathers, to not be satisfied with temporary things. But to seek salvation for their soul in the Lord. Et nous pas de l'autre côté sinon que dans le Seigneur Jésus. We cannot find that anywhere else other than in Jesus Christ. Et c'est ça qui fait ce à ce jour-là. And that's what they did on this day. Chers amis, my friends, bien-aimés captant de nous, beloved, those of you listening to us. Pas dire que message ça va pour même. Don't tell me that this word is not for you. Parce que pas moi un papa qui concerné. Pas parce que pas mon papa qui concerné. Because you don't have a father who's concerned. Ou du moins capable dire oh c'est mon maman qui c'est mon maman qui élevé moi. Oh, you could say that uh, I was raised by a mother. I've never had a father who was uh, at home with me. Oh, I want you to understand this. Every father in this world has his limit. It's only when the person dies that you hear that the person was an angel. But all fa- every father has their own limit. Côté vos bon papa, côté qui est un bon papa, where you find a good father, qu'on va dire un bon papa, qu'on va dire un bon papa de vie avec vous. Whether you had a good father or whether you never had a father, tu dis que le bon bon papa, whether your father was next to you, il est bon bon papa. Au juge c'est bon bon papa qui est. Or whether you judge that he was not a good father. David, you go on papa via le quel de tourner à tout, via tira question. I would like uh, for you to know that there is a father that you can turn your attention towards. C'est pas papa fait à quoi dire. He's the perfect father. Qu'on soit qui qu'on soit monde qui délaissé. Whether you feel as though you're someone who's been left behind. Qu'on soit sans tout ce monde qui abandonné. If you someone feel that you've been abandoned. Mais brisé. That you uh, you've been turned away. Ou orphelé. That you are an orphan. There's someone today who's your father. He's our God. And this father will never um, ever fail you. And I want to tell you. And to enter into this relate this paternal relationship. There is only one way. Pour mettre foi dans le Seigneur Jésus-Christ, you have to put your faith in the Lord Jesus. Christ. Parce que nous lisons Jean, because we read in John, chapitre premier, John one. Tout le monde qui reçoit le voile, tout le monde qui reçoit le voile, to all those who receive him, qui mettent confiance en lui, dans le Seigneur Jésus, who put their trust in him in the Lord Jesus. Ils veulent gagner pouvoir, ils veulent gagner pouvoir pour devenir enfants de Dieu. They be, they receive the power to become children of God. Et Ephésiens deux nous dit que c'est des enfants par entier qui oui. Ephesians 2 tells us that they are our children set apart. Yes, you mean pity to oh dear. They are true children of God. I don't want for you to remember these words today. If you are in Christ, all of the uh, well, spiritual orphanages are been closed. Because, because you found a father. Father, the Father of God. There is a son that was given so that we could have a Father in heaven. So if today you are in Christ, don't only focus on your Father here on earth. Don't complain. Yes. Mais songe comme mon papa. But remember that you have a Father. Qui fidèle qui est dans le ciel là. Who's faithful in heaven. Et attaché à lui-même. 
and attach yourself to this father. Donc joyeux fête des pères. So happy Father's Day. Et que le Seigneur vous bénisse abondamment. And may God abundantly bless you. Amen. Father, we thank you. Uh, for, because on this day, you gave us, Lord, this moment to come to your uh, cherished to uh, worship your good name and to hear your word. And for your word reminded us that we have a father, a faithful father in heaven, never fails us. And Father, in this moment, we ask that you would uh, pay a special visit to those who are currently, Lord, um, saddened because they've either lost a father um, this year, who feel as the Lord they are, they no longer have a father. We pray, Lord, that in this moment, can remind them that if they are in Christ Jesus, they have a good Father in heaven who is watching over them, taking care of them, and that one day they will rejoice in your presence. Bless the fathers once again, Father. So that the qualities that we found in this official, we can also apply them in our lives toward our children. And in our walk with you. 
and those who are not yet fathers. Tem aqui para outro que está aí, porque o capaz da atitude de tacho, de façã eficiente, onde os que o dá o valor das coisas. Lord, to prepare them so that they can be efficient. E finalmente, no vai para o mesmo. Finally, Lord, we give glory to you. Pastor, eu sei para o mesmo está vindo. Because this does not come from us, but from you. To your name, be the glory, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of the divine Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the of God who is our Father, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, stays on each and every one of us. Devant le nom, là, et bien là, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Le Seigneur, le Seigneur vous bénisse. May God bless you.